The Jill Hugh Mackay Foundation was uh, founded in 1987 by a great patron of the arts, Sheila Mackay. Sheila was a woman who had um, been brought up in Rossi and loved New Brunswick, loved her family, loved the heritage here, and uh, had a working career in Quebec and wanted to come home. Sheila discovered uh, a home at the New Brunswick Museum and she discovered people who inspired her, inspired her to do great things. And so the foundation has evolved from that early incorporation to some, an organization today that is responsible for award programs, scholarship programs, a grant program, and is probably one of the strongest advocates for the visual arts in New Brunswick. The Sheila Hugh Mackay Foundation was registered as a Canadian charity in 1987. Its mandate is the promotion and public knowledge of visual arts and crafts in New Brunswick. Up until her passing in 2004, Sheila Hugh Mackay was an active member at the board level. Her last will and testament, finalized only in 2010, endowed the foundation with funds to enable it to continue its work. The foundation continues to be overseen by a volunteer board of directors, and since 2007, an executive director has been contracted to manage the day-to-day -day operations of the foundation. It's important because it recognizes artistic excellence through its award programs. The most significant is the Strath Butler, our signature award. The Strath Butler was the brainchild of Sheila Mackay. She inaugurated it in 1991, and it has really represented the creative legacy of modern contemporary art in New Brunswick. Well, one of the first things uh, when I came onto the board uh, that was very important to me was that the jury system that we used to select the Strath Butler winner be absolutely perfect and that there be integrity uh, to this selection system because we live in a small province, everybody knows everybody else, and it's very important that there be no conflict of interest perceived uh, in, in how these winners award winners are selected. In 2015, the board of the Sheila Himekai Foundation decided that they needed to have a signature piece to give for the Strad Butler Award. Uh, all the previous recipients had received generous money from the Sheila Himekai Foundation, but they never had uh, a piece, of either a trophy or an object to commemorate that. And uh, I decided to look for her family motto and her family uh, crest. And the crest itself says Manu Fotsi, and it's a strong hand. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's a hand that holds a knife encircled in a belt. And I thought, Manu Fotsi, strong, uh, powerful, and brave. And that was it. I, that was my concept. It was immediate. And the uh, the pieces were, that I created, I recreated uh, 25 of them for the, for the previous recipients, and they were given into a beautiful award at the uh, New Brunswick Museum. And of course, those who have passed on, who have deceased, uh, we have kept the collection in the New Brunswick Museum. So they're housed there in permanence with the Sheila Humakai Foundation and the Strat Butler uh, recipient collection. Whenever the Sheila Hume Mackay Foundation announces a new Strath Butler uh, award winner, we always know that that's the beginning of an exciting process, that we're, we're going to be working uh, with um, an artist who is, is viewed by people in the province as well as their peers as someone who's made a valuable um, contribution to the province, to the country really, when you go to the National Gallery or you go to the Art Gallery of Ontario, people know who these New Brunswick artists are because the, they have received a Strath Butler Award, that, that it, it carries a lot of prestige, not just in the, in, within the, the province or the region, but nationally. So it's always extremely exciting. This award is, yes, about them, for sure, but it's about New Brunswick, and they see themselves as um, being recognized by their province and being part of uh, something beyond themselves. 